Angelo has decided to resign after um, the forensics found that those Twitter burner accounts did not belong to him but to his wife. Right. Uh, and after a, a, a mutual agreement, they decided the Sixers and Colangelo to part ways, which means the GM job is open. And our Adrian Wojnarowski says everybody wants this job. It is. As, as one uh, sitting general manager said to me today, that is the gold standard of what's available uh, right now. And uh, there are not just – GMs who are not working and available, but GMs in jobs places who would love to be able to find a way to get out of the contracts they have to get at that Philadelphia job. Joel Embiid, uh, Ben Simmons, a max salary spot to go get a superstar free agent. That team is built to be dominant for the next decade, and Mm -hmm. they will have no shortage of candidates um, to go out and, and try to take this organization to a championship level. Okay, so yeah, I mean, if he, right, I mean, that how good is this Sixers job? How about that? Yeah. Guys with jobs, seeing yeah. if they can get out to get that job. And okay, here we go, Mike. You have a theory. Oh yeah, speak it slow and succinct, and let so me just, we can yeah. really understand what you're saying here. And, and let me just say it ahead of time. We apologize. Yeah. All right, listen, all I'm going to say is the time. The, what first hit me off to this is the timing of this announcement. Announcement seems a little fishy, right? Mm-hmm. In the middle of a NBA Finals sweep. The second time in as many years that we've had the Cavs down 3-0 in a lopsided finals that continues to remind people that the NBA has a result that you know is coming from the beginning of the season that you can't avoid. So what do you do? You try and distract that by having this story get in there, which happened because going back to Sam Hinkie's mysterious ousting, his middle-of-the-night sort of Jerry Maguire-esque manifesto that ended in his resignation of his time as the Sixers GM, lands with the Colangelo family being inserted here not by any choice of the Sixers, but by Adam Silver and the league, planting them there, knowing, understanding, that's a chess piece for them to move later on. So we fast forward, and now we've gotten to a point in time where LeBron James and this Cavaliers team can no longer be competitive with the Golden State Warriors. They're the only weapon formed against them that had any chance of prospering and did once enough to give us hope that LeBron James can be the hero. Enter Adam Silver and company, who right now, hmm, you know what we still haven't figured out in all of this? Who, count them, who was the unnamed Twitter source to tip off anyone in this process about the Twitter accounts that were disseminating, the, disseminating this information? Who gave that information to the ringer? I posit... That it was the league, that it was Adam Silver and company who, after planting the Colangelo family in here, decided it was time and they were ripe for harvest, cut them out of the equation, knowing that David Griffin, also on the market at this point, would be the perfect piece to draw LeBron James into Philadelphia, where the process had taken hold after the careful work of none other than Sam Hinkie. Finally, the process comes to fruition as David Griffin takes his rightful place in the 76ers throne, brings LeBron James in, and they rule the league for the next 10 years, going head-to-head with a Golden State Warriors team that finally has a worthy adversary. Let let me just say this. Wow. No. Wow. Also, that's the second spectrum stat of conspiracy theories. Wow. That's nice. And I also have three words, and this is basically on you. Who hurt you as a kid that you came up with that? I'll tell you you what. It was... It was pretty well thought out. I don't agree with it, but yeah. I'll give you i give you the thought out part of the it. The pieces you know what, are all there, I'm you, telling you. You know what this reminds me of? Uh, when Will Farrow channeled his inner debater in old school. Yeah. He just blanked, blanked out. out. He didn't know what actually yeah, happened. Yeah. 